Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for January 21st, 2024. Welcome to Shredding Lavelle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Aries, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform. Whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, so let's get right to it. We are in Fort Stockton in Texas today. We made it from Beaumont, Texas earlier today, so did a pretty decent amount. I did a pretty decent amount of riding today, okay? So, I still don't have my license back, so I can't drive. <laughs> All right. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. Boom, 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 boom. Please allow me to get an accurate reading for the Aries Collective. Boom, 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 boom. Someone could be confused about something in your energy. It could be you or someone else. They could be confused about your happiness or something that you have going for you that makes you happy. Something like this, okay? Or vice versa. You could be confused about someone's happiness, maybe. Boom, 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 boom. kind of interesting that I say that whenever I was in um, New Orleans yesterday someone asked me about the name of my YouTube channel they were like why do you call it shredding La Belle tarot and I said it's because of the high priestess the high priestess in the tarot she allows people to be able to see through the veil to the spiritual world and Basically, it's not that you can't see into the spiritual world without the high priestess, but she allows you to be able to. So if you have a very strong connection, it's usually because you have a strong connection with the high priestess as well. And um, I explained like a quick version of that, 222 on the clock, okay? So someone may need to hear that. <clears throat> Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four, please. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. We have the Queen of Cups in the past. Okay. Emot emotionally stable knowing what you want okay also it could be creative um could be creating something new could be artistic uh for some of you all right not for all of you for those of you that are new to the channel i use a book by dusty white called the easiest way to learn the tarot ever i use this as a quick reference guide even though i do know what the cards mean okay <clears throat> this is the card of an emotionally sensitive woman usually gifted either with some level of psychic abilities or a strong creative talent artistic musical or design her primary traits are her imagination, sensitivity to the needs and desires of others, her caring nature, and love of animals or nature. Astrologically, Cancer, Scorpio, or Piscean women. doesn't have to be a woman. doesn't have to be a water sign. It's just what it represents, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify Queen of Cups for Aries in the past, please. Let me get one more for one, two, three, four, okay? Six of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Queen of Wands, okay? So you're, you're standing in your power in two different ways here, Aries, in the past. One is emotionally, and one is the action that you are taking. So you are taking some kind of action towards something that you want, okay, or something that you're trying to manifest. One of two things. The um, Six of Cups also represents giving, but um, a lot of people don't know this in the tarot. This is an older woman right here, giving to a younger woman, and this is actually representational of giving to your inner child. So... This is like you being there. Um, it could be for some of you, you may have children. Okay, that's not going to be for any, like most of you. Okay, that's going to be for a small, maybe like three or four percent of you out here watching this um, might have children. It could be you giving to your child. For others of you, or probably most of you, this is you giving to your inner inner child. This is you being there for yourself. Okay, 
with the two of swords and the six of cups um this could be a decision that you had to make in order to be there for yourself before someone else it could be possibly for some of you like a spouse or maybe family members or friends or something like that you could have had i wouldn't necessarily say maybe you had to cut people off you might have for some of you but in some kind of way you just had to decide to put yourself first and be there for yourself okay at this time with the queen of wands you are standing in your power this is giving you the advantage to be able to stand in your power here so that way you can have um that way you can have um, things come in, coming in for you, okay? <clears throat> Let me get the other deck to clarify really quick. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Clarify this, clarify this past situation for Aries, please. Whoa, let me get one more four here. One, two, three, four, okay. One more, one, two, three, four, okay. We have the Hermit and... The queen of wands in the reversal okay so someone uh in your energy they, do, they don't see you as someone that is standing in your power in the past here they see you as someone that is depressed and pulling your energy back okay um but the reason that you have your energy pulled back in some kind of way here is not necessarily because you're depressed because we have the queen of wands reverse clarifying the queen of wands in the upright okay the reason that you're pulling your energy back here is because you're trying to learn something okay or you are learning something okay wisdom sol solitude inner truth divine inspiration and enlightenment okay so someone sees you as a depressed person with your energy pulled back but the the truth is is that you're you're someone you're standing in your power in some kind of way you're giving to yourself you've made a decision to do this number one and then number two you're trying to learn something okay whether it be more information about something that you're studying like um like if you're studying tarot you could be learning more about tarot or something like this okay in the present we have the seven of cups okay so you have some options here and you have some decisions to make aries okay um in the book it does state to strike strike while the iron is still hot okay so you need to make a decision about something um I wouldn't say you need to make like a quick decision, like in a haste. I would say take the time that you need to, but realize that you do have a time limit, okay? You have opportunities and possibilities before you. The world is at your feet, whether you know it or not, and you may even be overwhelmed by the choices you face now, but a choice is called for and the clock is ticking. This is a very fortunate card as you have options, but the pressure on you to choose and act may be overwhelming. Take a deep breath, do some quick research, decide what you want from most from life right now and strike while the iron is still hot. If you wait too long, the moment will pass and the opportunity may be gone. Choose, but choose wisely, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify Seven of Cups for Aries in the present, please. Get one more, four, one, two, three, four, okay. Five of Cups in the reversal, Queen of Pentacles in the reversal. And the three of wands, okay? Let me see Queen of Pentacles in the reverse really quick. So it's one of three things, or one of two things here. It's either the five of cups in the upright and queen of pentacles in the upright. Since this is in the present, it can go one way or the other as far as the card goes. So let me look at the three of wands reversed really quick. Boom, 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 boom. All right, you're working towards something here, Aries. There's something from the past that you have let go of, okay, as far as it could be a couple of different things. Um, it does revolve around emotion with the Five of Cups, so it could be something emotionally that did not work out at one point in the past you've had to learn to let go of, okay? Um, it could be a mindset or it could be a mindset about a person specifically, okay? Because the Queen of Pentacles, um, there's kind of one of two ways this could go here. You could have, all right, so for some of you, you had to let go of something in the past about a mindset of a person. For others of you, you've had to let go of something, okay, in the past, and it could be something involving family or someone that's older than you, okay? This person who is older than you, like to keep you close or bound tightly to them, okay? They don't want you to move on very far, all right? And um, I feel like you've came to some kind of conclu conclusion or mindset about something that didn't work out with this person that you have to be able to move forward here, okay? So at this time, you're putting something out into the universe with the Three of Wands, okay? 
Um, the three of wands, I think we got this in the same reading yesterday. If it wasn't yesterday, I know it was in the day before because I remember just reading this one just a couple of days ago. Okay, it's a very good card to have. It's like you putting something out into the universe and waiting for the return profit of it. So you're doing something right now um, in order to manifest something bigger. This is an extremely fortunate card to draw, although it can be frustrating because as you look closely at the boats in the bay, they are selling away, indicating the successful launch of a venture rather than rather than the return profits of one. This card, this card tells us that things go well, keep going. This card often appears when we are frustrated by a lack of obvious results and we need encouragement to persist. Other forces are at work and we must also apply our efforts intelligently while we are waiting for our results, okay? Let's see if we can clarify a little bit further with the other deck here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify a little bit further for Aries in the present, please. Boom, 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 boom. For others of you, um, if the cards are, if it was the cards in the opposite position, it would mean that you're still holding on to something from the past um, that emotionally has caused you some like hurt here or some kind of, it's something that didn't work out from the past and you holding on to this is causing delays and blocking you from getting something, okay? Something probably materialistic. It could be money or it could be a job or something like something from that's going to be for others of you okay because that looked like this storyline could be both all right clarify this present situation for aries please one two three four let me get one more four one two three four okay eight of wands in the reversal and the ace of swords in the reverse okay so this thing that you let go of in the past was that um one it could be something that you wanted to happen rather quickly i feel like you're realizing that something needs to happen slow Okay, for some of you, for others of you, it looks like um, people are thinking that you're moving slow or doing something that is like just not very fast. Okay, um, Eight of Wands in the book here. Let me read it really quick. Eight of Wands reverse stagnation or missed opportunities, not being able to or ready to take action when fortune calls, canceled plans or vacations, inconsistency in action, reckless action taken without adequate forethought, alternatively scattered and wasted, scattered and wasted energies. If paired with any sword card, but especially the seven of swords, this could also indicate ambush or even a call to retreat. Okay, so this is the queen of pentacles reversed in the first scenario that I was explaining to you. This is someone that was like kind of bounding you to them or wanting you to be around them all the time. Okay, they're feeling like something that you were doing as far as moving forward in order to manifest whatever this is that you were manifesting. They're feeling like it's something that is wasted. They feel like it's something that's a bad idea. They feel like it's something that's not going to get you anywhere, okay? Um, Ace of Swords in the reversal. This could mean a couple of different things. Um, usually, Ace of Swords in the book here represents, um, is quietly referred to as the real death card by professional readers, people that read professionally, okay? But... In the card here with the tarot meaning deck, it says tyranny, disaster, self-destruction, chaos, weakness, lack of clarity. So this is how someone in your energy is perceiving you at this time. They feel like that you're just doing things, okay? But they don't understand, whoever this person is, I feel intuitively, they don't understand why you're doing it. They haven't really taken the time to try to understand where you're coming from or what you're doing um, and where you're wanting to end up with it, okay? I feel like they just see you, they see you doing things and they don't understand why, so they jump to the worst worst case scenario type of idea here, okay? So, in the future, we have the Nine of Swords, okay? Nine of Swords is like depression, is stuck in your head about something. Swords represent the mental, okay? And then uh, for some of you, it could represent an uncomfortable sleeping arrangement, arrangement okay? Um, but it doesn't have to be you. It could be someone in your energy. Take it as it resonates. I'll read it really quick and then we'll clarify, okay? Anxiety, concern over matters that seem to be out of your control, nightmares and sleepless nights or inability to sleep due to a physical condition, overwhelming stress, despair over events past or yet to come, emotional pain, even general paranoia, worries may be unfounded. You will have to sort through the reading to find if this is the case or not. This is a card of culmination. These feelings did not simply appear from nowhere. Look for the root causes of this effect to locate the solution. Occasionally, this card may even represent an uncomfortable bed or sleeping arrangement. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify a Nine of Swords for Aries in the future, please. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three.
hermit again. Boom, 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 boom. So again, I feel like somebody sees you in, in a depressed mode, okay? They feel like they don't understand why you're doing something that you're doing, okay? The reason that you're doing it is for, um, one is experience and two is to learn something, okay? You're trying to learn something here. So clarify nine of swords for Aries in the future, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more, please. One, two, three, four. Okay. Three of swords, the full and the temperance in the reverse, okay? So you or someone in your energy may be um, very heartbroken over something here, okay? I feel like they're heartbroken because they don't understand something whenever it comes to the anxiety and concern over matters that seem to be out of your control. Um, I feel like it's because you have some kind of new beginning here with the full card, and we just got the full card yesterday in the present. I'm pretty sure if it wasn't yesterday, I know it was the day before. It was within the last two days, okay? I'm pretty sure it was yesterday in the present, okay? So... You're already right now on some kind of new adventure, Aries, but in the future, you're going to have another new adventure to go on. You're going to have another reason to another reason to um, move forward or like, what's it called? Uh, some kind of new beginning or new adventure or something like this. OK, um, if it's not you, then it's going to leave someone very heartbroken in your energy. It could be family or friends or a lover or something like that. OK. This card can represent you enjoying any new beginnings, whether they are new ventures, freedom from restriction, new directions in life. This is your personal get out of jail free card. When you see this card, see the opportunities ahead of you and the courage that comes naturally with pursuing what is most important to you. Whatever happens next is not as important as what you want it to be. One of the metaphysical secrets of this card is that it is a wish card. The future is not set. He has not stepped off the cliff yet. Circumstances are always a result of people deciding how reality should be and making it so. The fact that everyone else simply shrugs and goes along with their vision is simply a matter of history. When this card shows up, it is time to take that leap of faith and spread your wings and flap like crazy. Take this card and put it anywhere in the deck and that is where you will be. This is the real power of this card, okay? With the temperance in the reverse, this is something that um, someone sees as chaotic. It could be you or someone else, okay? Uh, it's kind of hard to decipher here. I'm going to use the other deck to clarify, okay? Where is temperance reverse? There we go. Imbalance, bad planning, poor execution, lack of wisdom, rushing anything, too much of this, not enough of that, too much at once, selfishness, prima donnas, lack of understanding, okay? So it could be you or someone in your energy that is feeling this way about the situation again. Okay, take it as it resonates. What I'm getting intuitively, okay, is that it's whoever this person is that was in the present, okay, the present situation with the Queen of Pentacles and the reversal that are very stuck in their head about this. I feel like they're feeling the same way in the future, okay? They're going to be heartbroken and feeling like whatever you're doing is a bad plan or is something that you didn't plan out or haven't taken the time to plan out, okay? They feel like, again, that you're just doing something, but you have some kind of new beginning with the full card, okay? Let me get three cards to clarify this future situation, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Clarify future situation for Aries, please. One, two, three, four, okay. Four of Cups the chariot and the king of cups in the reversal okay some of you may be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer or scorpio okay the chariot is scorpio energy the four of cups is no not scorpio the chariot is cancer energy the four of cups is cancer energy and then the king of cups is pisces cancer or scorpio so some of you are probably dealing with a cancer or someone that has cancer heavily affected in their chart okay um whoever this person is is very closed off from help or they they don't want any help okay either from you or just from people in general in life okay it's like they're they got into some kind of point in their emotions where they just don't want any help from from anyone okay like even when people offer them help with something or try to um, connect with them they're just shut down they don't want it okay you have the chariot you're charging ahead okay you have success in the face of difficulty direction focus determination concentration triumph and perseverance okay Someone's not happy about this with the King of Cups and the reversal. It says lack of emotional intelligence, lack of control, merciless, shifty in dealings and coldness. Okay, so 
either way here you you are looking good you're moving forward okay the chariot also represents like charging ahead so it's like you're not letting anything slow you down here you have a new beginning you have a new option as far as moving forward and you're sticking to it okay kind of like that's my story and i'm sticking to it energy okay let's get a message from the ancestor oracle card if this message is resonating with you so far aries hit that like button at the bottom share this video subscribe to the channel and please leave a comment in the comment section thank you all so much for the new likes comments shares and subscribes it really does help out the channel Thank you for the people that donate to the channel and for everyone that reaches out to me for personal readings. You guys are amazing, okay? Let's get a message from the ancestor. Ancestors, spirit guides, God, angels, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Tree and balance tree and balance and again i'm just going to read what the what your ancestors are trying to say to you today through me drawing this card on here okay it says you're out of balance something you've been sensing for some time now you've been either too focused on the mundane and the ordinary at the cost of your spiritual connection or drifting along attuned to your higher self but lost in the etheric fog of living a few feet off the ground if you find that you're too grounded, it's time to start or renew a spiritual discipline such as such as regular meditation, which offers the experience of reconnecting with your spiritual self. If you've been feeling flighty, ungrounded, or lacking in a true connection to the Earth Mother, it's important that you get out in nature every day. Regardless of which polarity is true for you, make sure to spend some time with a favorite tree. Look, feel, listen, get acquainted, Tree will communicate with you and help set you on the right track to return to a place of balance. All right, Aries, this is going to be the end of your reading for today. Thank you guys so much for being here and make sure to come back tomorrow. Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first.